Welcome everybody. My name is Dr. Alvaro Huerta. I'm a religion and public life organizing fellow at the Harvard Divinity School. I'm also an associate professor of urban and regional planning and ethnic and women's studies at Cal Poly Pomona. And in today's course, I'm going to go over a theme that typically is not discussed in mainstream planning, but this is something that's important to me as a person of color to diversify planning. So we'll be looking at the issues of race, space, and planning. This course will cover the relationships among race, space, and planning from the past to the present. While many academic disciplines, such as sociology and history, do a good job of looking at the issues of race in America, as planners, both faculty and practitioners, we're in a better position to address these wicked problems. This is very important that we look at the United States and how it has treated people of color from a planning perspective. And basing the fact that place has a lot to do with outcome in terms of socioeconomic status, housing, and, and other opportunities or constraints for people of color in, the, in this country. Before I do so, I want to talk a little bit about myself and my own position as a scholar activist. In this diagram that I created, I look at my own position in terms of a, a trifecta. We have uh, research where my interest has to do with urban planning and urban history. And the second one is organizing, where I look at organizing as the dialectics between theory and practice. Given that I was a former uh, community organizer, this is something that is very important to me. I'm also a big follower of Paul Davidoff, someone that advocated for advocacy planning. Uh, and this has to do also with organizing where we cannot see planning as a neutral field. Davidoff saw planning as a way for planners to advocate for those that are less fortunate. So as planners, we, have, we serve a role to advocate for those that are less fortunate and marginalized in society. There's also the personal. Uh, I strongly believe that the personal is political. I'm a person of color. I'm a son of immigrants. I grew up in public housing projects in East Los Angeles. So all of that experience informs my perspective in, in the field of planning. And this is the case for everybody. Uh, if you grew up privileged in, in the suburbs, you're going to have a different view of planning than someone who grew up poor like myself in the inner city. So the idea here is to understand our own biases and how we can learn from them and how we can correct them as well. In this next chapter, I'll be talking about the European colonization of the Americas and the inhumane consequences when it comes to African-Americans, uh, indigenous peoples and others.